Hi everyone, and welcome to this Fan Art Friday video. I've been really excited about attempting a Spider-Man Homecoming drawing, uh, mainly because it's been such a long time since I've worked on any superhero drawings. I think th I, I spent a lot of time working on them back when I just started using Copics, and I was kind of getting adjusted to using the markers. Um, so now I'd like to try one again, and I would like to kind of adjust it to the layout and the style that I like to use these days, with the comic panel in the background. So while working on the sketch and the pen outlines, I decided to work on Spider-Man's shoulders and head, uh, with his head overlapping the comic panel, so it gives that 3D effect. I also wanted to adapt this 3D effect later on by adding some extra shading in some areas to really help it look like Spider-Man's poking out of the page. In terms of the pen I used for the outlines, it was a Copic Marsana SP 0.03mm. I love using this pen for drawings like this. It, it gives me so much control over the lines and I like to add some fine lines in the highlighted areas and then use thicker outlines for the shaded areas. And it was also super helpful for the web design on his suit, keeping those lines as fine as possible. Then it was time to start working on the colouring, and for the colouring of this drawing I used a mixture of Copic markers and Prismacolor pencils. Starting with the markers first, I used a crimson marker to add a base layer of colour to the entirety of Spider-Man's head. Then over the top of that to add some shading around his nose and mouth area, I used a cardinal marker. Uh, then I also used the crimson marker over the top of that again to blend between the two colours to keep the gradient between them as smooth as possible. Once the base layer of colour was completed, I decided to use Prismacolor pencils to add the texturing, starting with a crimson pencil first, and adding a cross-hatched effect in between all the sections between the webbing. Uh, then after that, I then placed some dots in between all the cross-hatching with a white Prismacolor pencil. Uh, this is the part of the process that ended up taking the most time, and probably, I think it added a few hours extra to the total time taken. But I feel like it was really worth it, making sure Spider-Man stands out as much as possible in front of that panel. Then, after placing the dot with the white pencil, I added another layer of crimson marker over the top of everything. I also made sure to use my Uniball Signo Broad white ink pen to add some bright highlights, uh, adding some highlighting along the top of his head and along his nose and cheek, uh, just making sure the left side really stands out. For his eyes, for the left highlighted side I mainly used Cool Grey 5 and then added some extra shading with Cool Grey 7, also using a black marker to add the darkest shading to the inner section. Then for the right eye, I mainly used a black marker and then added a highlighted ridge with a Cool Grey 7. Then for the texturing of the eyes themselves, that's where I actually used my HB pencil, uh, just adding a layer of shading first with a blending stick and then I used a sharpened small eraser to add the texture, just adding some lines sweeping across in a cross-hatched effect. When I finished colouring Spider-Man's head, it was then time to colour in the rest of his body within the panel, starting with a crimson marker first, and then blending some cardinal over the top of that, mainly underneath his chin. Then I started adding the texturing with the crimson and the white pencil. Again, this took a long time, and towards the end of the drawing my hand actually started to hurt, um, it, but I, I still really feel like it was worth it. For the final stages of this drawing, I wanted to add some details to really help Spider-Man stand out, and as I mentioned before, I wanted to add some shading to give the effects that Spider-Man's poking out of the panel. So I started by adding some extremely dark shading towards the bottom with a black marker, and then I blended upwards with a mixture of Cool Grey 7, 5 and 3 in that order. Uh, I also used the Cool Grey markers to add some shading underneath his chin, and just to direct some of the shading across the drawing. Um, after that, I used my black Prismacolor pencil to add some outlining around some of the webbing, making sure it stands out, because I found that it kind of faded amongst some of the colouring that I added. And then as a final detail, I used my Uniball highlighter pen to add some bright highlights along some of the edges. And after that, this drawing was completed. Overall, it took about six and a half hours to complete, and I really enjoyed attempting another superhero drawing. I loved putting in that extra level of detail with the pencils, and even though it took a long time, I feel like I, I'm, I'm really pleased with the results, and I would definitely like to attempt that style again. Uh, please let me know what you think of this drawing in the comments below, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future drawing videos. If you enjoy drawing videos, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares on this one really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress and keep updated with all the things I work on through the week, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support, and thank you so much for watching this. This was really fun, and I'd love to work on more. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you all soon.